What's up? This is T Briz. In today's video, I want to see if we can make Boo Bass sound good in FL Studio, or at the very least, make it sound better. Boo Bass isn't exactly known for its amazing bass sounds right out of the box. It's an FL Studio stock plugin, and we're going to use some other FL Studio stock plugins to try to make it sound better. We're going to do two different approaches on this. The first approach is a simpler, a little bit more beginner friendly technique. And then the second half of the video, we're going to do a little bit more of an advanced technique. But even if you're a beginner, it shouldn't be too hard to follow. Now, these techniques are not specific to Boo Bass either. What we're going to learn in this video can be applied to a lot of other situations. This is general mixing knowledge. So there's lots to learn. Stick around. Check out the video. Let's get right into the tutorial. All right, so we got a new project started. We're not going to need any of these tracks, but let's just go ahead and add Boo Bass. We're gonna leave the default settings on here for now. Let's right click and drag on these four channels because we don't need them, alt delete. Yes, I want them to be deleted. Let's bring up the mixer window. We're gonna route Boo Bass to insert number two. We can right click that and route selected channels to this track, we got Boo Bass. The reason I don't put it on one is because I use one as a preview track, which I'm gonna rename in color really quick. If you don't know what a preview track is, I have a YouTube short about this and I will link it in the description, go check that out. You know what might make this a little bit more fun is if we put a drum loop here to uh, experiment with our boo bass sounds in FL Studio. So let me move that over to insert three. We're gonna select insert two, hold down alt and use the right arrow key to move it over one. Then we're gonna rename insert two to drum loop, make it a little space for it in the mixer rack. Right, so in this video, we're just gonna use a drum loop because we're mainly focused on the bass plugin and try to get that to sound good. And I'll show you what the drum loop is. It's a beat batter, mutant drums, version one. We're gonna use this one right here. Uh, drum loop, no frauds, 85. 85 is the tempo, which has been set up here to match that loop. So to get this into the project, I like to navigate over to the playlist. Let me move this over so I can drag and drop the drum loop. Up oh, there it goes directly into the playlist. And as you can see, because we set the tempo to 85, it is lined up perfectly the end of the fourth bar there. And we did get to hear it a little bit when I clicked on it, but let me play it for a second just so you can hear what that loop sounds like. Kind of a live drum boom bap type feel. I do like some of those beat batter drums, not sponsored by them or anything, but just giving it a little recommendation. So like we said, I'm gonna put this on two. And then let's switch this. It tends to switch itself to audio when I drag and drop audio. And so let's change it to all so we can see everything again. Oh, on top of that, these are out of order. I don't like that. So I'm gonna select this channel, the drum loop, hold alt, hit the up button. And now they are nice and organized. A little bit more organization. Let's rename this pattern to Boo Bass for now. And let's hop back over to the playlist uh, and let's pull up our patterns. I'm gonna drag and drop that Boo Bass pattern out here. There's nothing in it yet, but let's just have it fit the length of the drum loop for now because we're going to be working with that. All right, we're set up. How about we make a bass line? Let's pop into the piano roll. All right, first of all, why don't we just listen to the sounds of the boo bass? Uh, just go up the scale here. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yep. Well... It's definitely a challenge to try to get the boo bass to sound good. We're gonna go for it. Let's lay down some notes. I'm gonna make sure that this is in song mode since we're playing what we put out here in the playlist. When we play on song mode, we're gonna be playing what's out there. And uh, I'm probably just gonna fill in a bass line and then fast forward so you could see it. Uh, so you don't have to sit here and watch me figure it out. All right, so I figured out a simple little bass line that goes with this drum beat. Turn the drum volume down just a little bit so we can hear the bass better since we're focusing on this. But let's listen to that boo bass sound and a little bit of a bass line here. And you know, boo bass doesn't sound great, but something about just having it with these drums is already making it sound a little bit better. So... That's saying something, I guess. But let's mix it and make it sound even better than that. What I found is that the frequencies in the boo bass that sound the most toy on the mids and the highs, but specifically the mids. Now let's just uh, play with these knobs really quick and listen to that. If I turn the mid down and play that back, you might need headphones to hear this because it's gonna be mostly lows. 
Let's turn the treble down too. It almost immediately sounds better the second we took the mids and the trebles out. I'm going to try to crank the volume up a little bit on this part so we can hear it. Okay, so the boo bass is sounding better, but we know we've removed as much of the mids and the highs as we could through the plug-in. But I actually want to add some of that back and in the process make boo bass sound even better in FL Studio. For what I'm going to show you, there's actually multiple ways to execute this. We're going to start with the more beginner strategy, and then I'm going to show you a more advanced strategy. So let's start with this beginner strategy. Which, by the way, it doesn't mean that the beginner strategy is worse than the advanced strategy. It's just a different way of doing it that's a little bit easier. So let's take a look at that. We're going to select this boo bass insert on number three. We're going to come over to the FX slots. And on slot one, we are going to add fruity fast distortion. Leaving the default settings, let's take a listen. Maybe I should fix these volumes first. Let's back out and then let's listen. Okay, let's turn it on and off. Yep. Off. On. A little bit more drive, a little bit more saturation distortion just on the low end because we cut out the mids and highs. And now when we do that just on the low end, we could look in the parametric EQ that it's probably brightening up the low end a little bit. Meaning if I turn off fruity fast distortion, and then I play this boo bass while we look at the frequencies that are coming through. Look at that. All low frequencies because we cut the mids and the highs out. But when we throw fruity fast distortion on, you see that? We're getting mids back. We're getting highs back. Due to the saturator. Due to the saturation. But now those mids and those highs sound better to my ear. And you know what? Let's just play with the dials on here just to see what other sounds we can get out of this with the fruity fast distortion on top of it. We put on the B style distortion. More subtle. Let's look at that fruity parametric EQ. Look at that. Wow. Really saturating that signal. Let's go back to A and let's turn the pre up a little bit. So we've already seen what we can do now. We're making boo bass sound better. Remove the mids and the highs. Throw some distortion and saturation on the lows to reveal more mids and highs that are getting produced from the distorted low end. We could stop right here and you'd have a better sounding boo bass already. We accomplished what we were going to do in the video already. There's multiple other ways to do this. I'm going to show you one other way that's a little bit more complex, but it has its advantages when it comes to this situation, what we're going to do with the boo bass. But this technique that I'm going to show you can apply to lots of other situations as well. So this one is really valuable. Let's close this out. We're also going to get rid of our fruity fast distortion that we set up. Okay. We're also going to get rid of our fruity parametric EQ that we set up. Okay, we removed all the FX slots. Uh, let's open up Boo Bass. We're actually going to put the mids back up to the default, the treble back up to the default. Let's just give it a quick play. Yep, it's back to that default Boo Bass sound. Now, I want to do something similar. I still want to get rid of those mids and those highs. I'm just going to take a more advanced approach. Let's select Insert 3, Boo Bass. Let's go to slot number one on the FX slots. We're going to select Frequency Splitter. Okay, we're going to want to split these frequencies using frequency splitter. We're going to split out the low, the mid, and the high. You can see down here there's a spot for that. So when we split these out, we're going to need them to go somewhere. And that's what this area over here is for, is for routing those frequencies. Um, and since boo bass doesn't really have a signal being sent anywhere yet, I can't even move these past one. One, one, one. Okay, well, that's not what we want. So let's go back into the mixer. We'll select boo bass. Let's right click, side chain to this track, right click, side chain to this track, right click, side chain to this track, because we're going to have our bass low, we're going to have our bass mid, and we're going to have our bass high. Okay. And let's color those really quick so they stand out. Control, left click, drag, 
right click rename color let's just make it teal why not okay now that we got this side chain and this signal is able to be routed to three other inserts i should be able to push this up to two and push this up to three in fact what we really want to do is this will be one this will be two, this will be three, this will be four, if I remember co correctly. So we want two, three, and four. Uh, to figure out if that's working, let's hit play. There we go, we have signal coming through. Now the boo bass insert is still playing the entire signal coming from the boo bass channel plugin. Well, we don't want that. We just want the split it out frequencies because the three of those frequencies as a whole make up the same exact signal, but now we're gonna have control over them via our faders. What we can actually do since we've sidechained and routed this is I could turn the volume all the way down. It's what we're gonna do. We just have the splitted signal. So let's hit play. Should sound exactly the same. There it is. Now, originally we went into boo bass and we turned down the mids and the trebles from here. But if we turn down these faders, it should have the same effect because I'm turning down the mid signal, I'm turning down the high signal, and then I'm playing it. There you go. So now we have controls over the low, the mid, and high frequencies just from within these faders. It's essentially doing the same thing as what we did here, except we have a little bit more control over this. So now... We could do the same thing we did before with the low ends by saturating them, but I am going to EQ the mid signal since now it's on its own fader and I have that type of control. So the parts of that signal that don't sound really cheesy and bad can still come through at the overall bass sound. Let me show you what I mean. First, we're just gonna do the same thing we did before. We're gonna go to the low end. We're gonna go to slot one. We're gonna add fruity fast distortion because we're doing the same thing we did before we're adding saturation to the low end so that way we bring out mids and highs again and you know what if i add the fruity parametric eq we'll be able to see the same thing happening that we did with the beginner style of doing this with this more advanced style so let's turn the fruity fast distortion off and hit play there we go we're just getting low end signal now let's turn fast distortion on. Immediately you get that boost in the mids and in the highs. And same thing if we switch to type B. Even more saturation, even more mids, even more highs. So now we're back in the same situation with the almost identical sound to where we left off with a simpler strategy. Remove the mids and the highs saturated the lows we're going to take this one step further now because we have split this out into low mids and highs we can do something with the mids to try to make boo bass sound a little bit better i experimented with a few things and i found that putting a very restrictive eq on the mids makes it sound a lot less cheesy let me show you what i mean let's turn the mids up let's go to slot one we'll add fruity parametric eq let's play it with the mids in Not bad. I want to eliminate some of the cheesier sounded frequencies, and I don't exactly know where they are yet. We're just going to cut some stuff and see how it sounds. I'm going to go for a really steep EQ. So we're going to right click on band number one. We're going to go to order, steep eight. You see how steep that is, as opposed to the, the little slopes that some of these have. They're not as extreme. We're going to go for a steep slope. Let's do order steep eight on this side as well. And then let's uh, just, you know, try to dial it in a little bit. I think that sounds better. Let's see. We're going to turn it off and turn it on and listen to both. So uh, here's with the EQ off. Turn it on. just solo out the mids it's subtle 
But I do think that the mids can live in this bass sound with the right EQ and make boo bass sound better. Guys, there's a lot more experimentation that we could do with this. Not only that, especially the frequency splitter technique that was shown today can be used in many, many, many different ways. The possibilities are endless. But I will say that I think we made boo bass sound better. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I hope this video helped you out. You learned something. Please don't forget to like and sub and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.